What is up guys, Fever Strike HD here, bringing you yet another career mode, but this is the one that I'm going to stick with, it'll be with Newcastle United, and you can see I'm just making a Tim Strike, the manager, we're going to be from Brazil because I would love to, you know, na uh, coach your national team, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward everything that I do off the pitch, so that guys you can see every single thing that I'm doing, you know, what transfers I'm doing, what substitutions I make to the squad, you can see I'm just... You know, messing around with the squad, see what we have, see what we have available, see what we have at our, at our disposal. And I'm going to search for some players, you know, very, very, I didn't really search for anyone uh, young. So I had to go back and do it at the maximum age 20. And someone catches my eye. It is, it happens to be Luis Muriel, who I think Al Frizi actually picked up. I didn't know that until now. Sorry about it if, I'm, if you guys say I'm copying him, but I do not think I am. But you're going to see our objectives are in the league, we have to get mid table and then in the I believe it is domestic cup we must finish in the semifinals so not too tough of you know objectives but as you can see we're going to offer MEOB and twenty thousand dollars for Luis Muriel but the Whisperum offers one thousand one million five hundred for MEOB so I was like alright fine I guess I'll do it so we'll sign him and we send him to them but we end up signing Muriel with them but we can't get him because MEOB is gone so unfortunately, we're going to have to put another bid in for him. But we decided to do 20 players and Zisco, who is 26 years old, he's a little old, and they finally accept that, so we decide to get Muriel. We have him, but this guy, Abiyad, who is 19 years old, actually is a very decent player, wants to play in the first game. We end up winning the first friendly. I'm just going to simulate the friendly because I want to get into league matches real fast. You guys, I know you guys want to see that. I want to see that. You know, we want to pop the cherry of the league games, so let's do that. But we're going to simulate all of the friendlies, like I said. And you can see uh, transfer offers are coming in fast. Like, you know, they're just coming in just ridiculous amount. But we're going to get uh, straight. We're going to get scouts. Sorry, but let's play our first friendly game. But we got scouts from England. Um, I believe it's Italy and Russia. So they're all one star. So very cheap. But... I found that strikes with one star actually come back a little better. I don't know, they, they bring back more talent, it's always been with it, it's been like that since like FIFA 12 for me, I don't know, they bring back better talent. But um, so you could just, I mean, if, if you guys see anything that you actually like, please do pause the video so you can see it. We do end up releasing, <laughs> I guess, transferring Marvaro over to West Ham for 3.6 million. So he has gone out of the club, and then I'm going to slow this down just to show you guys. I was like, you know what? Let's see if the future scout actually works, because I'm going to be sticking with the series, so let's do it. Go to the first one, it's down about a couple of ways, and right there, scout, I was like, you know what, I have 3,237 coins, why not waste 1,750 if it really works? So I was like, alright, let's do this. So you can see, I don't know what I was doing there, but I decided to purchase it and get a transaction through, and then you just see, I was like, oh god, that's so much wasted, oh my goodness, it better work. So, you know what, I'm hoping it works, I think it does work, but let's get back into it and see if it does actually work, and we get an email, scout has been deployed, we have sent one of our best scouts to search through the scouting network and find us a lad with great talent and the potential to be world class, expect more on this in the next few weeks, so, it must have worked, I mean, <laughs> if he just sent out then I'm pretty positive it worked. So we have to check back in a couple of weeks to see if we get someone. And then Morcom accept a loan. I decided to put a lot of younger people on loan if you didn't see that a little bit back. But here we come into our first league match. It will be against Tottenham. I always do the talk to the press. And I always do motivate Newcastle. I don't know why. Um, but you know what? Let's get into it. I think I had sliders on to uh, try out a video, to try out like a... I was doing kind of like a FIFA theories video, but so I had to put them all back. We're on world class, so let's do this. It is Newcastle against Spurs, and let's get into this right now. So you're going to see the new player, Luis Muriel, stepping up, you know, first league match with Newcastle. His new town, his new town, the new tune as apparently they say in Newcastle, but his new team, and look at this. Out of all people to go down, it has to be Papi Stimbasise. Very good player in real life, and unfortunately, he's gonna go down in the first league game. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" So I was sitting, uh, Ba. So we're gonna put Ba in, and uh, let's see how it does. But um, 
As you can see, Baez is going to come in. See, say it looks to be an ankle injury or something, but it's going to go into halftime 0 0. Nothing exciting happened at all. We had a lot of opportunities. They had a lot of opportunities. And then in the 76th minute, I'm going to make a sub because it is very important to rest your players. We can see Gutierrez is a little bit down, so we're going to put in, I believe it is MEOB for him, the younger MEOB. And we're going to put in Simpson for Perch, I believe. Yep. And then, do we make one more? No, we don't. That's it. But in the 90th minute, that is gonna, they're going to call it. You know what? I've seen enough fight over 0-0 zero, zero tie. So in our first game, we do tie. We get one point out of it. Fortunately, uh, Bob coming in for Cissé, who got injured. But these are the facts around the league. Manchester City won 4 to nothing. Wigan and Chelsea tied 1-1. One, one. So, you know what? It seems to be going on. And then I think it said Poppy Cissé was out for four weeks. So not too bad, but not too good. We're going to motivate me. And you know this this game I think is the definition of rape. I don't I don't know what what went on here, but we just couldn't get anything going. And you're gonna see why. I am so embarrassed to even post this on the internet. We come back and look at this. They're just gonna get through. And Victor Moses, the 21 year old, is he 21 or 22? Just uh, I don't know. And then again. A penalty? Are you kidding me? The ref hates me, and I was just like, th at this point, I was, you know, yelling, screaming, you know, kicking stuff. Roommate had no idea what was going on, but Eden Hazard's going to step up. Can we save it? We guess left, and he goes right, so no. <laughs> we do not be able to save it, so in the 38th minute, we are down 2 to nothing, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, wh what the hell? Are you kidding me? Fuck off, Chelsea. Like, when did you become 2 nothing? And then look at this for a ball. Look at my defenders right here. Ready? He just stops. Colacini just stopped. I don't know what he did there. Please, if you guys do, please rewind that back for a second. And Colacini just does nothing. Like, it just literally stands there. So I was like, alright, we need to make a substitution. Nothing's working. So let's substitute something around. Let's at least get one goal back. So we put in Giannis Kabai for Anita. And then we put in, I believe it is, Abid for Teote. And then that's it. But... It doesn't really help. Look at that. A beautiful ball. And Torres is through. We do catch up to him. But Cruel cannot save it. I thought that would be an easy save. A little on the ground to the bottom left-hand corner. I don't know what you could have done. But in the 90th minute, if we finally end this bloodbath of a massacre, of a rapage, of an anal recipe, whatever. Heskey must have been watching and was so proud about this win because it was just an absolute rape. We end up losing 4 to nothing to Chelsea. And you can see the scores around if you missed them. But I don't know what it was. So I was like, all right, maybe I'm not on my FIFA game today. So I decided to lower the difficulty to professional for a couple of games just to see if I can get my groove back, you know, see if I can figure out everything. And uh, so I think the next couple of games will be in professional. And uh, I, it just it was one of those days that I couldn't get anything done. Uh, well, it's, it's uh, Transfer Day Day. If you want to see what I'm looking for, again, pause the video, slow it down. But I decided to lower it. We do try to get through Steam Her Raheem Sterling. There we go. Team Sterling, I don't know who that is, but um, Alberto Massey, if you guys saw that, he's a very good player, he becomes unbelievably good, but uh, I will lower the difficulty in this next couple of games to professional, it was just one of those days where, you know, FIFA just didn't agree with the way I was playing, so I couldn't get anything done, so I did lower the difficulty a little bit, but we do end up picking Raheem Sterling up for 3,300,000, I believe, and uh, we do not end up picking up Massey because he is on loan to... Um, Versali, I believe, from Juventus. But let's get into the last, or no, no more games. But we're gonna have this is the guy that came back from the scouts. He's a left back, and uh, I do sign him. And you will see if I do sign him. I'll just give you a hint now. I do end up signing him, and he ends up being a four-star skilling left back. So nothing better to say. But this has been FIFA Strike HD. Please, I hope you guys do like the series. This is the one that I will stick with. Newcastle is a great team to start a career mode with. If you guys aren't subscribed, I highly recommend you do because I have quality content. <laughs> well, I mean, that's up to you guys to figure out, but I think I do. And if you guys leave a like, it would really I would really appreciate it because the sub boxes are messed up. So the only way to get these out is with likes, and that is the help of you guys. So if you guys could do that, it would mean so much to me. But, like I said, this has been Fever Strike HD, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.